Hi all, in today's video I'm going to show you a new Yosemite feature called Digital Signature. Basically what that means is if you have a form like this, and this is a form I found on motor vehicles, and you want to sign this digitally, uh, there is a way that you can do this online without having to print it out, sign it, scan it back in in order to email it, send it, or fax it digitally. So I'm going to show you basically how to do that. There is a new feature only in Yosemite. It's not available in Maverick, and it's in an application called Preview. Um, this Preview application is similar to Adobe Acrobat and Adobe Acrobat Reader, but it is free and it comes installed on almost every Mac computer, especially on Yosemite. And when this application is open, it can read PDF documents. When you want to fill out a form online, you download it, you open up the PDF, in preview because it'll sometimes it'll default to Acrobat Reader so you definitely want to make sure you have preview open and you go to file open you know that's always a good way of doing it and once you have it open you're going to see that there'll be this little button called markup when you click on that you're going to see a toolbar that has some I items that you can use and the way I usually like to fill out a form and there's other ways of doing it is I like to click on this little text file here and that gives me this little text box so this will work on any form and let's say I wanted to fill out uh, the item in this box here I can double click on it and I can start filling it out just like that and in these um, as you can see I did the same thing but in this case I would space it out with uh, spaces and also probably resize the type and in order to do that I would simply double click on it try to highlight it all so I did command A for highlighting it all and then I might uh, adjust the fonts to either a smaller or larger font whatever would fit in there and maybe change to black and uh, then I might have a little bit more give as far as spacing uh, to fill it into that area however I want to so let's just say something like that would work fine well let's say I have completed finishing filling out this form and now I wanted to sign it what do I do? Well, the first thing is you'll notice that in this upper area here, there is a signature called sign. And you would click on that and you have an item called create signature. And now you have a choice. You could in reality just do a trackpad over here by clicking and beginning it. But I don't particularly like it. I don't find the signature comes out very well. And uh, if you have a really good uh, penmanship, maybe it would work with that. But I find most people don't have a great success with. But you can use the trackpad to simply, to simply sign your signature. The other way of doing it, which I like much better, is called the camera. And if you click on the camera and you hold up a little white piece of paper with your signature on it, and you wait a minute until it kind of catches it. There we go. And then you hit Done you have a signature that you can use. Once you're done, you can actually click and drag that signature. Hold on. Let's do that again. Once you do it, the signature is there. You click on the signature. There it goes. And then you can click and resize the signature uh, to whatever size and area that you would like. Now, let's say you had to, this, this area actually was requiring a print name. So let's just put it over here. So you can do a signature right there and then you're good to go. Now if you have multiple people who need to sign it, they can all sign on a piece of white paper, put it up to the camera and sign it, or you can use the trackpad. Um, again, the trackpad is the same way. You just click Create Signature and click Begin, and as you can see, you can sign that um, when you're done. I haven't been, and then you hit Return, hit Done, there it is. It never comes out good. That's why I never use it for me. <laughs> As you can see, that this signature came out much better. But, you know, um, that's why I think this method is 10 times better because at least it really is what a signature is supposed to look like. So that's how you do digital signatures. Uh, you can also, don't forget to fill out the forms. When you're all done, you can go to File, Export as a PDF, or save uh, it as a uh, printout if you want. You can also print it. Uh, you could also take a screenshot uh, from it. So it's up to you how you want to do it. There are many different ways. But at least this gives you a way of completely uh, filling out a form online and being able to fax it. So that's the way you do it. Hope you enjoyed the video.